the following video is rated PG. Dad, what are you doing? Just installed high-tech security in our home. What? You mean those electronic gates? Yes. We use them to open them and close them. This is also very helpful, because intruders won't find a way to get in. Only my family can have access to these gates. Wait, so you change the old gates to the new ones, then put the old ones back, and vice versa? Because that's how TV logic works. It was only beta testing, Chuck. Ah, uh, I get it now. Hey guys, check out my new house! Wait, what happened to your house? It's changed. We had to refurbish it because the old one was super outdated and boring. I even changed the gates. Apes is one because people kept seeing through the old gates. Well, it doesn't look too bad. It looks nice. I tend to agree. And check this out. This state of the house has just been built recently. I don't know who's there, but you get the idea? No way. That is the coolest house I have ever seen. I wish we could just move there rather than live in a dump. Yeah, who lives there anyway, Mr. Beast? Well, it could be someone else living in there. Okay, but who can it be exactly? Just answering your question. You? You, you would never find me here. You're wrong. <laughs> What? I just don't understand. What is this? Some sort of a joke. Why the hell do you live here? Why did you move in here? Because one Axel suggested me to move in the mansion. Oh, that boyfriend of yours. Let me clear the air for just a minute. You and Axel Axel are just kids. So what? Just because we're kids doesn't mean that. Okay, I am done with this conversation. We're leaving. We can go home so soon. Oh. Wow, this is interesting. I didn't realize you were having any visitors. Who the hell are these people? Why are they in your home? What the hell are they doing here? Dude, could you not scream at us like that? We only had the windows repaired like a day ago. Anyway, I'd like you to meet my flatmate. That dog next to her is called Hal Schmidt, or simply Harold, and that bunny's name is... Taylor Swift. Oh, excuse me. Her name is Daisy, not Taylor Swift. She's so overrated. What? If Daisy can sing, this will be it. Come here, I was put in your ear and your dream as you passed out. Okay, I don't understand your jokes anymore. Could you please just leave? Happy Lou. Guys, you won't believe who just moved to 100 Bird Street. Wait, who? Suki. Very funny. Chuck. I'm not joking. She moved to a newly constructed mansion with Daisy and Harold. Daisy is one of the richest people in my Argyaza. So how rich is exactly Daisy anyway? Way richer than me. She thinks she's better than me. Then what exactly do we have to do with Suki and her flatmates? Nothing. You just have to get used to the new neighbors, that's all. I think you might have to tell Hale about this. Hey, mate, what are you watching? Something random on TV. President. It's President Sit Down Beauty, the government. Get someone to sit down, sit down, you piece of crap. Sit down, 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 sit well, I didn't realize they have Jack Paul TV in Hungary now. I know. It's only exclusive for Vodafone TV users though, but I'm not sure if it's going to be available in every TV providers. Yeah, but there's something I'd like to tell you. There's a new neighbor who just moved in. Who do you think it is? Robert Downey Jr. Suki. What? Axel's girlfriend. Yes, she lives with Hal the stupid dog, and Daisy who is very rich, way richer than my brother. Wow. I'm just shocked. I didn't realize she lives in our street now. Oh come on Hal, Suki isn't even a threat. She is just, well, a kid. But I thought Sukai was Sonic's sister. Sonic has got nothing to do with Suki. Just because they're the same animals doesn't prove they're related. Oh, well, that makes sense now. Oh, brother, how's it going? Not much. We have some new neighbors moving in. Daisy, Suki, and Hal. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, what is Suki? Doing in our neighborhood. Can't she just find somewhere else to live? 
I wish I could believe that, but we just might have to get used to it. Really? That's it. Is that all we have to do? What if that stupid little hedgehog breaks into our home and causes trouble? She won't. We installed a security gate at our house, so only the people we like would go in and not those we hate. Oh, well that makes it better I guess. Clearly nothing could go wrong today. Huh, did you really think you guys would get away with it? You're wrong. What the hell? How did you get in? I thought we had the security gate installed. Well, stuff your security gate. Um, I can go in whatever- Alright, enough of your stupid games. Did you not hear about what just happened? Your girlfriend Suki just moved into our neighborhood? Yes, I know that. And then what? You don't care about Suki, do you? Of course I care about her. But she said that she finds your jokes really dumb and stupid, also claiming that you are a lowlife and a sore loser. Because I love Taylor Swift, huh? And the song I sang to her. Come on here, I was in your ear and your dream as you passed out. Babe. Oh my god, could you please stop singing that song? It's so cringe and your dance moves are so- That's enough, Mr. Raccoon Boy. Get out of here before I call the police! Get yourself, furry. How the heck can he fly? Beats me! What the hell are you doing here? How did you get into our house without even knocking? Sorry I had to barge in, but are you the guy known as Mr. Pierce? Of course it's me, idiot. What is the problem? I've come to say how sorry I am about what happened with Zack. Why do you have to be sorry? He deserved it. We're finished with Arya and John. now it was Zack's turn to pay the price. That is the most heartless crap I have ever heard. Is it? After everything that Zack's done? Now hold on. Zack is not dead. The whole thing was just a hoax. Then why did you do it anyway? To get his money? To inherit his business? That's none of your business. I want you to leave now, or I'll call the police. Go ahead. Call the police. Because you will be the ones locked up. Hey, do we look stupid to you? We are the powerhouse of a mafia empire, and you can't tell us what to do. We'll do whatever it takes to stop you. I'll stop you all right as soon as Zack gets here. Don't you ever say his name again. Or what? You'll kill me. I'll always come back, no matter how hard you try. I hope the FBI will have your mafia shot down for this. I'll make sure of it. Zack, please Chuck, you have got to help me. I got no way else to go. I thought you were dead, the news told me about it. How are you still alive? It's those bad piggies. They really want to end my life. They already did that to me once, but it was a setup. Why should I ever help the man that stole my family's money after everything you've done to me? Listen, I know I may have done some stupid things, but I've changed. I'm not the same criminal I was before. This is a trick. You're still the same. I know it. Please Chuck, could you just let me stay here for a while? If those gangsters find me here, I'm dead. Then why don't you just go somewhere else? I'd be happy to watch you die. You don't understand, Chuck. I lost my business. My money is gone. My job is gone. Everything. It's all Howard's fault. He's the one right- Thank you for your opinion Mr. Jeffrey. But you really have to go. Goodbye. <laughs> Fine. Screw you then. I'd rather just die then. You know we belong together. You and I forever and ever. Until the end of time. Each day.